It started out on land, hunting, breathing, nursing its young. Under its fins, you can still see the traces of fingers. Four million years ago, the dolphin chose to return to the sea, but every so often, it must come up for air. This is Maya. She can hold her breath for several minutes. This summer, she plans to let three dolphins go, to take them from the Red Sea to the Black Sea and release them into the wild. Nothing this summer will happen as she planned. She brought five dolphins from Russia. They mated, multiplied, and formed a pod. This place was formed around them. There is no other place like it in the world. The dolphins have an open gate to the sea. They are free to come and go as they please. This was Maya's dream. The gate to the sea was open for six years. But the encounter between the dolphins and the people on the shore was not a good one. The humans harassed the dolphins, and the dolphins reacted violently. The authorities demanded that the gates be closed. The pod has been limited to an area of 500 square meters surrounded by a net. This is Lemon with the long jaw. And that is Shandy. They are the only immature males in the pod. As soon as the gates to the open sea were closed, they became persecuted. The mature male, who is also their father, tries to force them out of the group but they have nowhere else to go. Their lives are in danger. Maya decides to free Shandy and Lemon. But freedom is 1,500 kilometers away in the Black Sea. It is the only place where they can find other dolphins of their kind. At the last moment, she decides to add Pashosh, a female who's a social misfit. Her last two deliveries ended with stillborns. Sometimes she hurts herself. Together with Shandy and Lemon, Pashosh can start a new family out in the Black Sea. The first stage is to separate Pashosh, Lemon and Shandy from the pod. The trainers call them to eat and then close the gates behind them, confining them along another beach. For the first time in their lives, a net separates them from the rest. On the journey to Russia, they will be confined even more. Dolphins are addicted to touch. 
and they can touch with incredible delicacy. Like us, they have sex for pleasure and do so in motion, in the water, all the time. They feel no shame and have no taboos, females with females, males with males. I have even seen a mother dolphin teaching her young how to do it. Sometimes the whole pod joins in. On the other side of the net, a threesome has formed. Too few players for sexual games. Lemon and Shandy find themselves fighting over Pashosh. Pashosh chooses Shandy and Lemon is pushed aside. Lonely, he goes into depression and ceases to eat. The Shosh and Shandy have sex. Lemon watches from the side, stuck in the corner for hours. He has been known to stop eating before. It takes time, sometimes days, before he returns to his usual self. Now we wait. This journey must end in a month, otherwise the Black Sea will be too cold. Maya enters the water and tries to touch them every day. Shandy, Lemon and Pashosh refuse her effort. Ever since she separated them from the pod, they want nothing to do with her. They approach the other trainers, but not Maya. <laughs> A dolphin never sleeps. Its breathing is voluntary. It doesn't just breathe, it decides to breathe. Were it to fall asleep, it would drown. One part of its brain goes to sleep for a few seconds, while another part regulates respiration. Dolphins cannot be sedated. That's the key to this entire story. They will make the journey to Russia wide awake, no dreams, all reality. After three nights together with Bashosh and Shandy, Lemon stops eating again. Something is wrong. When you try to do good, Sometimes it turns out bad. This is the small beach. Here the dolphins can be taken ashore. This is where they will stay until the trip. Maya decides that enough is enough. Lemon is dehydrated. He needs water and training for the journey must begin. <laughs> Zo, 
תחזור. תחזור אצלך? אוכל חי. מה? היא בהיסטריה פשוש. גם הוא? לא, הוא לא בהיסטריה פשוש בהיסטריה. ידע כל הזמן שמשהו הולך לקרות. אז זה עכשיו כאילו... ידעתי. אז... הלוואי שהם היו יודעים שזה מוביל לטוב, כי... זה הולך להיות להם כל כך קשה וכל כך שונה מכל מה שהם מכירים. To get to Russia, the dolphins will have to fly. They must be taken out of the water. Every day, the Russians send a fax urging them to get started. The dolphins need to be trained to ease the shock of the journey. They are worried that one of them might have a heart attack on the way. The Russians have experience airlifting dolphins, and they insist on training them three times a day. Eight people are needed to lift a dolphin, averaging 250 kilos each. Our goal is to get out of the water from the water, in 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 the water, and in the water, because he doesn't eat it, because he doesn't eat it, because he doesn't eat it, because he doesn't eat it. There are a few things that we need to be the most important to be aware of. One thing is to keep the water and the water, and not to eat the dolphin more than he doesn't eat it from the water. זה אני אומרת, כי אני הראשונה שהכי פחות רגועה, אוקיי? ותתרחקו מפתח הנשימה, לא לתפוס שם בטעות ולהיעזר בשביל למשוך וכולי, אוקיי? פשוש היא הכי לחוצה, היסטרית, למן הכי רזה, ושנדי הכי... מה הוא? גם זה בא? גם... נותן את עצמו. נותן לבד את עצמו. מה עוד? זהו. Maya's decision to free the dolphins, rather than sell them to a dolphinarium, proves to be complicated 
expensive, a romantic choice. In five hours, they will extract them from the water again. Shandy lifts Lemon, refusing to let him sink. This time, Ashosh watches from the side. On the other side of the net, the pod is preparing for a birth. Dolphins have always figured strongly in human mythology. In a bay near Delphi, Apollo transformed himself into a dolphin. That is where the name comes from. Dolphin, a fish with a womb. In Brazil, they tell of a dolphin and a maiden who made love under the full moon. The Australian Aborigines believe that they are the direct descendants of dolphins. In ancient Greece, the dolphin was likened to a god and killing one was punishable by death. Dana delivers a male. He is named Neo, the chosen one. Moments after he comes into the world, he begins to nurse. On the small beach, the fourth training is held, testing out the container in which the dolphins will make their journey. Two meters by two and a half meters. 40 centimeters deep. The container will await them on the plane. Altogether, they will spend 10 hours in it, five in flight and five on the road. Shandy goes in first and Lemon follows. Pashosh gets breathless and stays on the beach. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Pues מה אתה אומר? ואיך זה מסתדר לך עם הסטרס? כן, כן. ממש בדעה הזאת שלך, אבל שוכנענו שככל שהם יותר מתרגלים למצבי לחץ, כך הם יעברו את זה יותר טוב. תראי, סטרס מרחיץ אותי יותר מאשר מחלה, כי הנזקים שהסטרס עושה, אחר כך לפעמים לוקח חודשיים לא טוב. טוב, בסדר. אז אם אני מוציאה אותו מהסטרס שלו עכשיו, שלא היינו צריכים להכניס אותו מההתחלה לתוך החרא הזה... תראי, הסטרס לתת לו מים באופן עקרוני, חמישה-שישה ימים צריך להסתדר. תודה. יאללה, ביי. היי, למון בוי. רגע, מאמי לשילי, רגע. רגע, חמודי. תשחרר, תשחרר. תסדר לי. אה, תפתח לו, תפתח לו. הוא פשוט עושה פה מלקחיים, הנה. אוקיי. עוד קצת, מאמי. זהו. זהו. היי, קיבילי, מה אתה עושה? שורה. עוד בפנים, מה היה? זהו. יאללה, הביתה. אפשר לשחרר, יאללה, הביתה. אם הוא רוצה להתרומם, אז זה לא ילד. בינתיים לא... הוא לא יראה איזה סימן כזה. דווקא... שוקע יותר. מה היה? כן. אחרי שדיברת, כשאתה אומר ככה, היא ואמרה לי, זה נורא... יש דבר, קוראים לזה קפצ'ר מיופסי. זאת אומרת, הרס שרירים בעקבות תפיסה. הבעיה של זה עכשיו מצב מאוד מאוד חמור. בצבעים לפעמים תופסים אותם, ואז יודעת, כשעושים להם תפיסה שנייה, אז הם מתים ביד. דולפינים לפני מוות בדרך כלל רואים שתן דמים למעשה וקצת אדישות כזאת היא חוסר תעזור לבנטיות. הגלמון הזה, תגמור כמה שפחות. אם יש לך ברירה אל תעבירי אותו. אם יש לך איזושהי ברירה. מה שאני עושה זה להבין עוד פעם עוד פעם עוד פעם זה מצב חמור. אם הייתי מפחד על מישהו זה עליו. מצטערת, בובי. ממש, ממש, ממש מצטערת.
לא, 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 לא. תציל אותי, ג'וקר, תציל אותי בבקשה. אבל כמו שאתם רואים, הוא מרגיש לא כל כך טוב. ואנחנו נותנים לו מים, ונקווה שהוא ירגיש יותר טוב מזה, הוא יצא מזה. אנחנו ככה, מחזיקים את הרשת, צוות שנדי, צוות פשוש, מחזיקים. This time, only lemon is extracted. He needs water. He has gotten used to it, and there is no need to use the net. He goes to the trainers and puts himself right in their hands. Two days before the journey to Russia, Lemon dies. This is Shandy and Pashosh's last night at the small beach. Tomorrow, Maya, Delisha and Tal will fly with them to Russia. The boys will stay behind. The pod hovers by the net all night long. The water is overflowing with sounds.
The Russian plane brings Andre with it. A former military trainer, today he is head trainer of dolphins at the Russian Academy of Science. They are supposed to take a breath every 25 seconds. Andre will gauge their breathing throughout the journey. He is in charge now, from departure to arrival. What time you want to start? What, you, you say. You, you say. You what boss. time? No, really. Time? Hour? Breathing? Just breathing. start. Okay, okay, okay. Corner of the Guys in the airport. Okay. Everything is ready. I think after 10 minutes, we... 10 minutes? A dolphin chooses its own name. In the first months of life, it invents a signature whistle recognizable by its mother. These out-of-water whistles are repetitions of their own name and that of another dolphin from their pod, a cry for help. Throughout the flight, they must be restricted. As soon as they are unrestricted, they start to go wild. On landing, the rules change. The Russians take over. This is the first time that Maya, Delisha and Tal are separated from the dolphins. Does anybody of you speak uh, Russian? No. Nobody. But driver is speaking. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Cheers. 
משאית לעבור The truck's motion confuses them. They do not understand. Their instincts tell them to dive for safety, but they hit the bottom of the container. Still, they dive again and again. Ten hours later, they reach the Marine Research Center, an isolated outpost on Russia's southwestern edge. The Russian authorities require the dolphins to be quarantined for a month in a metal pool on the shores of the Black Sea. I take off my cap. In the pool they find Sir, present, a wild dolphin captured nearby. As part of an experiment, she was outfitted with a transmitter. But, but the uh, uh, radio transmitter was lost. You can see Finn with the place for the radio transmitter. אל תגיד לי אפשר, אפשר. היא תבין מחר בבוקר, אני מבטיחה לך. מחר בבוקר היא תבין. בואי, בואי, בואי. אז מה, מיום הראשון? זהו, סכנה. היא רוצה להרגיש ביטחון ולא נותנים לתת לה ביטחון. מה, 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 מה? זה מה שמגיע לחיים שלה. עכשיו פתאום? זה לא עובד ככה. זה לא עובד ככה בחיים של אף אחד. נכון. The Marine Research Facility of the Russian Institute for Ecology and Science in Autriche. They have seals, sea lions, beluga whales, and plenty of bottlenose dolphins. 
They used to study sea mammals for military purposes, but today they do scientific research. Dolphins born in captivity are almost never released into the wild. Nobody knows if they can survive their newfound freedom. Will they adjust to the laws of nature, fend for themselves, join another pod? Will they go looking for humans to whom they have grown so accustomed? On her birthday, the Russians take Maya to their dolphinarium. For the first time in three months, Hashosh and Shandy approach Maya, and they make up. Happy birthday. Oi, va, oi, va, oi. Oi, va, oi. Not panic. No. But panic. Hashosh <laughs> pregnant. What? It's good news. What, oi, va, oi? Oi, va, oi. It's good news. Yo. Is he a mulet? What do you mean, Shandy, no? Oh, my Shandy, oh, my Lemon. It's all him, all lemon. Yeah. Yeah. Shady, soft, soft, Abba. Look, it's in June, it's in the year of the Tinoc. Wow. Now they need to be marked. Maya, Shandy went first. Okay, with Yes. According to the agreement with the Russians, the dolphins from the Red Sea must bear a recognizable sign. Maya insists on drawing the sign on their fins, P and S, before letting Lana do the engraving. Okay. Beautiful, but this no, is no. this is a very good hand she has. Uh, you know, it looks like, but not no. No, no, the same like like this, but no, no. 
beautiful. No, no, no. Good work. Summer is ending, and the dolphins are marked and healthy. Shandy has doubled in weight, and pregnancy is pacifying for Shosh. Together with Serp, they have formed a threesome that's ready to go. Lana assures Maya that the scar will heal in no time. things this special official official maritime inspection delfin it go it's a black sea yes. how dolphins run Leave. yes mm -hmm. maybe yes maybe no who knows no Kill you. Maya I understand you very well just like this finish you know you can't touch can't kiss can't like this, like this, like this, about your child. This is your child. Of course, Maya, 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 you must be strong. Sandy! 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 Sandy!
A moment before his release, Shandy leaps off the stretcher and disappears into the sea. She's going to people. Okay. Is is okay. We are releasing. Yeah, yeah. We are introducing dolphin to the wild. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now raining. Now they. I love you, Andre. Really. My. <laughs> How could we release them? How could we take our eyes off them? Finally, we had to turn our backs to the sea. Ashosh, Shandy and Sir left us behind and vanished over the horizon. We see, like, we see. Oh, no, it's a doctor, it's a doctor. of our animal. It's now released to the wild. Let's wish that comes from everything. The good fish, good water. Thank you for helping us achieve our dream and being so... <laughs> I want to bring this one for a dolphin. For a dolphin. What do I do without you, you know? No one, say it again. No one. Shandy, Shosh, Serb, never in this place again. Perfect match again. No, no, believe me. Look at me. A year later, the Russians report they were spotted by fishermen. Every now and then, they come up for air somewhere in the Black Sea. Shandy has made appearances as far as Romania and Turkey. The Shosh is not with them. She joined a pod and sometimes tries to make contact with humans by the shore. She has no child. Serb has yet to be seen. Maya says that gradually they will forget us, becoming more and more free. <laughs> 